What's up guys, this is Nick G with MuscleAndLife.com. Just wanted to make a quick video on the incline bench press and the best way to do it. Now I've got to be honest with you, most of my life I have never I really put an emphasis on the incline bench press. I've only started about a month ago because I learned a tip from Franco Colombo, who you might uh, recognize as Arnold Schwarzenegger's old bodybuilding partner. Um, there was one day I was watching Rambo movies on, uh, I think it was like Netflix or something, and I was, it was like Rambo 2 where he was big and shredded, and I was like, damn dude, like how did he get like that? That's awesome. And I looked up his workout routine. Turns out Franco Colombo trained uh, Sylvester Stallone throughout the Rambo movies. And I watched, he has like a YouTube video, I can link to it in the description below if you want to watch it. It's kind of boring, but I did get one gem out of there, and that was the incline bench press and the best way to do it to actually hit your upper chest and develop it a little better. Now you might not know this, but your uh, your chest is actually made up of two muscles. You've got your pec minor, which is up here, it's more of your upper, upper chest area. Your pec major, which is a little bit lower your middle chest area. As you can see in my shirt, I've got like a pretty developed chest, but this up here is pretty shallow and lacking, so I'm actually going to try to build up my upper chest now. Instead of just my lower chest, it'll probably be you know, like more aesthetically appealing. But the one thing that Franco Colombo said in the video was, if you're gonna, if you really want to hit that upper chest and make your chest look nice, put the incline to a high incline, which I had never done before. Um, so I have it to a high incline here, so it's almost kind of like you're doing a shoulder press, pretty close to like a seated shoulder press. But uh, ever since I started doing them, like goddamn, I fucking feel it. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Maybe you've been doing incline, maybe maybe you never have like me, but. I definitely feel a difference and I'm definitely starting to actually see some changes going on like my chest is actually growing for the first time in a long time. So <clears throat> I got my uh, bench up. So for my bench, I used to do incline uh, bench presses on like the first ring up on my bench at home. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like, it would be like that high and I would do my incline bench presses from like that angle here. So it was just one ring up from uh, my bench, from flat bench. And I, to be honest with you, it really hurt my shoulders. So that's why I pretty much have never done inclines because that just didn't work for me. But ever since I've done one more step up, which is how Franco said to do it, how he trained Sylvester Stallone, I notice I don't have any shoulder pain at all. And I really feel it uh, up in my upper chest here. So anyway, get it set up to the right angle. That's the most important thing. And then uh, same things kind of apply if you watch my flat bench video and you've been reading the article. All the same uh, form tips still apply. You want to get back, set your uh, shoulders back, get your chest out a little bit, feet flat on the floor, gripping the bar in the bottom area of our palms and squeezing. So everything's pretty much the same. If you haven't watched that video or tutorial, if you're just finding this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go to the actual blog article about the bench press. And that'll also take you to the other video on the flat bench. It's a longer tutorial and uh, just everything else you'll need to know, okay? So I'm going to lay back. I'm going to pin my shoulders and get in position here. Grip my barbell. Again, I grip it like two to three inches outside my shoulder width. Get it up in my rack. Up we go. And now for the incline, you want to go pretty much to like the top of your chest area and up. So, do your reps. I'm gonna do like eight here, just to do it. And go ahead and do it when you're done. Bam, just like that. So, yeah, that simple little trick of the bench angle, just making it more upright, has made all the world a difference. It's actually made me enjoy doing inclines. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing them probably within this next year, I'll have before and after pictures. And we'll see how it does, but I can really just feel it on uh, my upper chest, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some good uh, chest gains out of that. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Again, everything's going to be in the description below if you want to read the full article. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by.